Hello internet people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to add a two-factor authentication to your WordPress website for that added layer of security. I assume you already have installed an authenticator app on your phone. If you don't have one then I'll leave links in the description to my favorite apps. I'm in my WordPress dashboard and just scroll down and go to plugins and click on add new. Then in the search box, just search for WP and then 2FA. And you need this first option. So it's the uh, by WP white security. Let's install it now. And don't forget to activate it. Okay, we're now in the startup wizard. Let's get started by clicking on the button. And here you can choose if you want to, what type of two factor authentication you want. I don't want the uh, one time code with email. I just want with an app. So I'm going to select that and then continue the setup. Then I want to have backup codes just so that I can place them somewhere and then um, make sure that if anything goes wrong, I always have a, a backup to actually get into my website. Then you get the option if you want to enforce the two factor authentication. That means if you have a lot of users, then I would enable this. That way, next time somebody logs in and they can they need to do this process. Uh, but since I am the only one on this account, so I'm not going to enforce it. Next, you need to pull out your authenticator app. In my case, I'm going to use Google, for example, or you can use also Microsoft. And all you have to do is now go to your app and then uh, click on the plus sign or add a new credential. And then you need to scan this QR code. And once you scan it, your website will appear as a line item or in your authenticator app. And now you need to uh, fill in those numbers here. Give the numbers for authenticator app to this app. Okay. You need to write them down here. Next, it will ask you if you want to generate the backup codes. Uh, and actually, I would do that as well. Just generate the backup code so they have something to fall back on later. So uh, it generates the list of backup codes. Just grab them, write them down somewhere, and uh, make sure you store them in a safe place. And once you've done that, once you've copied or printed them, you can close this by clicking, I'm ready, close the wizard. Okay, now if you just log out from your own WordPress, you'll notice that next time you log in, you first obviously have to log, log in, add your username and password. And after that, it will ask you to use the authenticator app to actually log in. So you have now two factor authentication on your WordPress website. If this video was useful, then hit the like button so I know you like this type of videos. Now that you have 2FA installed on your website, but that's just one layer of secure website. That's why you should watch this video right here next if you want to learn how to truly keep your website secure.